Okay, hello, my name is Marcus Owen Bell, and I'm here to talk to you about my book, The N-Word. And it's a play, a script, a theater play, and it's a screenplay, essentially. And in 2016, I wrote this after, uh, let's say, uh, there was a Black Lives Matter protest in Norfolk, Virginia. I was working for a Virginia Stage Company as a theater artist intern. And my coworkers, they got together, and they're like, we should do something about this, right? And they're like that type of type. So essentially, they uh, they made a whole Facebook group about it, and they got everybody together, and the whole community showed up, right? Right? That's what you would think. The whole community showed up, except people of African descent, Norfolk, Virginia. <laughs> and essentially, uh, it made me so upset because, you know, I was the only person of African descent in the team of people. There was another person, but he wasn't always there. I was basically there essentially to place a spot, and they paid me $5 an hour for eight hours of work uh, at that, and, you know, essentially they had me in all projects. It was ridiculous, and then this happens, right? So you can kind of understand my how I was upset. I was renting a room, and essentially it was like a huge bunch of a bunch of people it's called the silent mile and essentially it was so ridiculous that you know they didn't even like invite anyone of african descent so it was a bunch of people of european descent all the uh, hipsters there's an area near ghent in ghent called ghent right but it's like in norfolk called ghent and it's you know essentially it was those people showing up indie rock band people and it was like colored hair all that and i was like and then they made it about themselves like the person that was speaking of african descent made it about said i'm not here about myself <laughs> that's what he said he's like i'm not here about myself but i need to say this and it was just kind of weird how he said that he's like you did well you're not making it about yourself you're 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 just admitting and I hope they recorded that so people can re that's what that they did so they can re watch that because that's why I got upset and I was like I was holding a sign I was like oh so this is just against we're, we're just like we're just ignoring all the people that are dead right so it's like in terms of police brutality this is the finalization of the the movement of Black Lives Matter being against like life right you're not even talking about the like you know the people that are actually you know doing anything you what i believe instead of all this protesting that results in either rioting or people making vicious statements like all you know uh, all i all some random person with my same name said all black lives matter trying to like get a get a, a keyword matching on it's just like the type of people that are that are, that are like that go into this mindset or like they like oh get violent with violent rhetoric all you know pigs in blankets you know die right and it's like ridiculous right so it's like okay let's not, let's get away from violence right violent rhetoric right instead let's go people who put on a badge who go out into the streets and cause violence against people with let's say petty crimes and try to attack them actually you should bar those people from even putting on a badge all it should be people who become police you should have at least a bachelor's degree and i would say a lawyer's lawyer degree so you know all the laws or you should have a master's degree because lo and behold they don't even need an associate to join the police force that's basically how these events happen if I was a politician, if I was a senator, if I was a, a, the president, I would literally make that happen today. I make that the law. And then, yeah, if, you, if, you, if, you're a, uh, if you're a police officer, you don't have a bachelor's degree, you don't have a lawyer's degree, hey, pack your bags. Because you're a liability, you're a danger to the community. Because how the hell are police... Uh, recently, I had to deal with a situation where I was in a rental home and I was looking at it, and then some random police officers called by a, a streamer.
okay. So there was a situation where I had to deal with like terrible police officers and where there was a rental home that I went to and in this rental home, it was just a freaking scheduled viewing, right? Lo and behold, police officer showed up, right? Called by streamers that were stalking me. So there's a streamer, I believe the name is Leslie Ann Fu, who basically sent police officers to chase me around. Maybe she was jealous, maybe, who knows, right? They had tasers pulled already at the front of the home. But what they didn't know it was a Tricon residential home. And essentially, because it was a Tricon residential home, you could view the house and then, you know, leave, right? I was looking at the house and essentially what they did, they walked in, they didn't, they didn't have any authorization because I opened the door, right? They had tasers pulled and they tried to open the door before, right? So they didn't touch the door. They probably got some hacker to open, open the door, maybe some person named Bad Boy Halo. That's who opened the door apparently. And it was just two streamers that were calling them over named 39 Daff and Foosley, right? These people might, or might be going in, in this other person named Natsumi and Saikuno and another person named Foolish, right? These are the streamers. You should never watch these streamers, by the way. So essentially, they chased me to this house, tried to open the door by hacking it because they couldn't, they had to get a code. They didn't use a code. But I had to pay to get inside. So I paid, I was legally in there. So there's no uh, unlawful occupancy. It was a false charge, whatever, it got dropped, the case got dropped, whatever, case dismissed, whatever, right? Those police officers, the paramedics, uh, all those people, prison, life, because it's attempted murder. That, so essentially, they broke the Fifth Amendment, uh, the amendment that basically Need, you would need a police officer needs a warrant to enter a house. Open the door, they needed a warrant to even open the door. But I was holding the lock, right? I was holding that lock. I was like, uh uh, you guys don't get to go in this house without a, without paying. So they broke the law, right? So the police officers trespassed and then they tackled me and they basically took a taser and tased me for about a, like a minute and they took ketamine, a ketamine shot, and put it in my thigh. And then they took my, and then they basically ripped my shirt open and then basically put like a, you know, all those tags, like a dead person with a hook. They put it in my back and then took me off to UMC. And then basically those are the police officers that should be barred <laughs> from even being on the force because they're apparently they're from LA and then they didn't know what they were doing. They were, they were, they were told something. That's why I was told. That's what I was told. They're told I was some other streamer. My aliases are Calm Cerebral, Calm Cerebral PV, and Butler Bell CX, right? And now Butter bu 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 Buggles Bent, right? But it's Buggles Butter Bent on Twitter. So that's who I am. My, you know, my full name is Marcus Owen Bell. That's who I am, legally. I'm an American. If you use someone else's identity to attack me, that's, that's on you. You go to prison for life. And then if you use CIA audio to leak what I'm saying, what's in my brain, whatever, let's say in the like tinfoil hat era of people, if you do that, you're going to Guantanamo Bay. I don't care how happy of a streamer you are, you're going to prison, Guantanamo Bay, it doesn't matter. So there's people for that, who cares, who, whatever have you, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. But that's basically like where it came to be, where I wrote the, I was, I, I was upset so 2016, I wrote that book, you know, wrote the, the play about like what I felt about the people that misunderstand the N-word. I don't believe the N-word should be said. I don't believe the N-word should be uttered by people. You're bringing us back hundreds of years. And it's a word that was created by, you know, Spaniards. And then let's say like the, the rhetoric into the colonial times, the mispronunciation of the Spanish word black into what you call the skin color of my skin color, brown. So that's basically how that, you call brown people this, and it's like a, it's like a, it's, it's kind of like a, a, a point downwards of humanity, right? So you don't want to be pointing that to yourself so you don't say it. And that's essentially why I made that whole screenplay, it was a theater play, and you know, you can basically follow along and then find out for yourself about what, you know, what I believe 
what I think of the N word. And that's, that's why I call it the N word. And I haven't said the N word since like 2016. I said it here and there. And I said it again for just, just for the audience, what they wanted, right? That's what they wanted, right? So, you know, in 2019 on Ice Poseidon's live stream as a butler. Well, you know, that's basically what I did. But that's, that's kind of like, you know, my take on the N-word. So I have an Amazon catalog under Marcus Owen Bell, my full name. There's another person named Marcus Bell. And there's another random person named Bellringer, some randos. But, you know, so you know who, where to find me, who I am on Amazon. It's Amazon Books, Marcus Owen Bell. You can, that's my full legal name since birth. Tied by DNA. <laughs> so, you know. And that's, that's, that's what you need to know. That's what you need to know. So that's my book. I, I'm writing books now, if you want to know. So, yeah. Just, just so you know. <laughs>